Hello and welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome to a video. I'm back and I am back for a few minutes indeed because I've just watched Real Madrid very, very nearly drop points against Sevilla. The Ramon Sanchez Pizjuan, the police was absolutely bouncing as it always is there. Their unbeaten record going for months and months and months. Of course, we went there and failed. We we threw away a two goal lead. It looked like that may well be the case again tonight, but. Unfortunately, and unfortunately for us, Real Madrid have beaten Sevilla by three goals to two, and despite Sevilla's best efforts, and they really did put a lot into the game, they were very, very close, they were cutting through Real Madrid's midfield, their defence, uh, you know, Casillas was under a great deal of pressure towards the end of the game, but unfortunately they couldn't make it tell, and it all goes down now to the final three games of the season, and I've come back here to make sure everyone's nice and calm, nice and ready, because it's still in our own hands, and there's absolutely no reason for anyone to be panicking. And the reason for that is, we are in control. If I was sitting here as a Real Madrid fan right now, I would be worried. There is absolutely no reason for us to be worried. We've got three matches, and three wins can give us the elusive La Liga title. It's as simple as that. You can talk about stats, facts, you can talk about games and form. The bottom line is, we've got three games remaining in La Liga. Real Sociedad at home, Atletico Madrid away, and Deportivo La Coruña at home. Those are three cup finals, and a lot of people say it, and it's a really, really bad cliche, but it's quite simply true. We've got Bayern Munich in the Champions League, then we play Sociedad, then we got the second leg of that, then we play Atletico, then we've got Depor, and then a few weeks after that then, we have the Copa del Rey final, and that is our season, and hopefully as well in that fixture list, we'll have the Champions League final, but that's a different issue. The issue at the moment is, we're in the control of our destiny. We are in control of our own fate, because Real Madrid Madrid are two points behind us. It's that simple. Let me just clear up what would happen if we drew our next game and Real Madrid won. A lot of people don't seem to be clear that La Liga is not defined on goal difference. You will not see that take any effect on proceedings. It's decided on head-to-head. -head. And now a lot of people think because we beat Real Madrid once and they beat us once, we're level on head-to-head. -head. That's not how it works. If it's level in that terms of respect, then what happens? You go to goal difference. Real Madrid beat us 3-1 at the Bernabeu. We only beat them 2-1 at the Camp now. So we will lose on the head-to-head -head rules. So we cannot afford to drop any points. Because if we do and we're tied on points, Real Madrid will be champions of Spain. So, it's quite simple, win all our games. Now let's start with Bayern Munich. That is a game going into that which I believe we are favourites. Again, there is absolutely no reason to fear them because they're a great side, they've got a fantastic manager, they've got brilliant players, but they've got key injuries and we're on fire. We are on fire. This week we have played two games, scored 14 goals and conceded none. We've got two massive wins, two steps closer to the title and at the moment our players are on fire. Their confidence is soaring, their belief is growing and everyone around the club, inside and outside, is believing that this could well be a really, really special season with records broken. We've already seen Messi, Neymar and Suarez become the most elusive and prolific goal-scoring uh, trio in Barcelona's history, overtaking the treble-winning side of Eto, Henri and Messi. Now it's time for them to put those records aside for a minute and deliver the trophies. And that's exactly what they'll intend on doing. We saw today eight goals against Cordoba, a brilliant display a lot of attacking football, but at the same time, we're preserving ourselves. We're keeping ourselves fresh. Out there today, I would literally say, even though we won 8-0, we were in second, third gear. We can still go higher. We can still force more from ourselves, and they'll do that. They're preserving themselves. They're keeping themselves nice and fit, nice and fresh. Luis Enrique, he's got a game plan in his mind. He's working the players out. He gave a lot of players a rest against Itafe. He brought off Rakitic, Mascherano, um, a co today, and Iesta as well he brought off, and he's just preserved them. He's keeping them nice and fresh, he's keeping everyone nice and happy in the camp, and going into the Bayern Munich game, we are favourites. Do not get any doubts about that in your mind. We're favourites in that game, we're favourites to progress altogether, and we can do it. There's no reason to fear them, no reason at all. So, going into that first leg game at the camp now, it's very, very important that number one, we win it, and number two, we try not to concede. We've done really, really well lately in terms of our defensive unit. We've been compact, we've been solid, we've not conceded many goals. We have to make sure that's the case of the camp now on Wednesday because we cannot allow Bayern Munich to go back to the Allianz Arena with some hope. We have to play... Uh, on the front foot, of course, we've got to get a control of the ball, 
Bayern Munich may have the ball for a lot of spells in that game. They are exactly the same as us. They like to keep possession. And for some ways, I think Luis Enrique will allow Bayern Munich to have the ball. Because when they lose it, we'll be like Porto, except a much more prolific and much more dangerous version of Porto. Whenever Bayern Munich lost the ball in that first leg against Porto, they were straight on them. They had Charisma, they had Jackson Martinez, who are right in their throats, down their centre-back's throats. And Luis Suarez will be exactly the same. He'll be putting pressure on their centre-backs, really forcing them into mistakes. And when we get the chance, we will counter-attack. And we will counter-attack with pace, with power, with energy. And there will be an end product. So going into that game, I am excited because I think we certainly got what it takes to beat Bayern Munich, to beat Pep. Whatever the emotional you know, strengths are there, of course, coming home, we've got massive respect for him. One of our most successful Scrap that. The most successful manager in our history. A man who's loved all around the club. A man who, let's face it, we saw him in the stands against Manchester City. Barca is still very much in his heart. It'll be tough for him to come back. But we've got to put that aside. We've got to go out there. We've got to beat Bayern Munich. And we have to take our place in the final in Berlin. And I'm very, very confident that we can do it. We can do it. So do not be under any illusions. We're favourites. And rightly, rightly so. Now on to La Liga. We've got Sociedad at home. Now Sociedad are doing pretty well in La Liga. They're, they're no hope of going down. They beat us, of course, at the Anoeta. But don't, don't get misguided by that. We may well have a curse at the Anoeta Stadium, but we do not have a curse of, against Real Sociedad at the Camp Nou. Completely different story. They'll be defensive. They'll try and be compact. We can't allow them an early goal. We've got to make sure we score first, put the fans at ease. But certainly for me, on the same weekend that Real Madrid played Valencia at home, we've got a nice easy game. We can win that one. Now it's very very interesting when you look at the penultimate weekend of La Liga. We've got Atletico Madrid away from home. Espanyol play Real Madrid at home. These are very very interesting games and I tell you for why. Both opposition of both Real and Barca, both opposition will have exactly the same thing in their mind. Now they will deny this. There's no chance of them saying this in public but I can guarantee it they'll be going through their mind. Espanyol will be thinking I don't really want to take points although you know we want to win the game we want to get some points we don't really want to give Real Madrid the win here because we don't really want to take points off Real Madrid sorry because we don't want to hand the title to, to Barcelona we don't want to give it to our arch rivals so you know what we'll put up a bit of a fight but Real Madrid are going to win that one and you know what Atletico Madrid are going to be thinking exactly the same thing because let's face it Espanyol and Atletico haven't got that much to play for Espanyol mid-table they're not going to be troubling Real Madrid and Atletico Madrid are third in La Liga they've got that pretty Pretty much sewn up. They're in the Champions League for next season. They're not chasing the title. Valencia aren't really going to catch them. They're not playing for anything. All they're playing for is pride. And I tell you what, Simeone won't be in that dressing room thinking, let's go out there and smash Barcelona today because then we'll get the three points and then we'll give the title to our arch rivals, the team in the world that we absolutely despise the most. Our fans would absolutely go mad. We're going to hand the title to Real Madrid. It won't happen. Atletico aren't going to sit there and, and let us beat, let them beat us 6-0. You know, they're not going to sit there and just say, you know, go on, go on, score as many goals as you can. But I'm telling you, you know, the, the motivation that you need to produce a performance in that game, it won't be like going to the Ramon Sanchez Pizjuan. In the game that we went there, they were fired up. Their fans were on their feet. They wanted to win the game. They were going to do everything possible, give every last bit of energy to go and win that game. Atletico Madrid, I just don't see them doing it. I don't see them having the motivation to go out there and, and effectively hand the title to their neighbours. I just don't see it happening. And at the same time, personally, I don't think we need to rely on anyone else. As long as we play to our level, as long as we're focused, as long as we're concentrated, and as long as we keep playing the way that we have been in recent weeks, there's no doubt in my mind that we can beat Atletico Madrid, we can beat Real Sociedad, and we can beat Deportivo La Coruña, and that we can lift the La Liga title, and it's going to be a brilliant, brilliant thing when we do, and I do believe it'll happen. We're going to try and go through in the Champions League, get to Berlin in the final, let's see who we face there. But what I will say, guys, is the general message from this podcast is do not panic stay nice and calm we're in control of our own you know what we can do now it's all in our own hands we're in control of our fortunes we can do this we're Barcelona we're on fire at the moment stay calm and as always Visca El Barca <laughs>